Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll discuss to you on how to add an image to our Ionic project or Ionic application. So in this tutorial, we'll be using the Ion IMG tag or Ion IMG component. So let's start. So we have here the Ionic project or Ionic blank project. So in here we'll be uh, adding an image. So there are two ways on how to add an image on our Ionic project. So one is okay adding a an online or an external picture. So and the other one is you need to uh, embed that application to your asset folder. Okay, so first let us add a picture from online so this is our code so we'll be using or we'll be defining the ion img tag on our project then ion does img okay and then our ion img so we have to or we have to specify on its property resource property or resource attribute the link of the picture that we are going to embed or add to our application so for example the ionic logo so all we need to do is to get the, the path or the URL of the picture okay and then this one will be opening this as open image in the top so this is the URL of the Ionic logo under Wikimedia okay or Wikipedia copy and then all you need to do is to specify that on our on the source property of the ion uh, or the source property of the ion img component and then since i already saved that let's check the output okay so we're able to display the image on our application the ionic logo that next thing that we need to do or we are going to do is to embed as a permanent fa uh, picture on our application that means or uh, static uh, or as a static image to our picture so that means even if your application is offline or you do not have an internet it will still appear on your application because this picture okay so if you don't have internet if you do this if you get the url and you don't have the internet okay you will not able to load this picture only if you are online you can you can only see this picture if you are online now what about if you are offline so what we are going to do in our next uh, example is we'll be downloading this picture on our computer and save it to our project directory so you're going to save that so you're gonna look to your project folder so in, the, in this uh, tutorial or in this video I use the project Ionic uh, demo for YouTube so I'll be opening that and okay so you're going to, you need to go to public then assets so inside of the assets folder you're going to save your or the picture so we'll be uh, changing the file name and we'll just name it as Ionic logo okay and then save okay so in our project okay so we'll be changing the source directory or the, the source the value for the source attribute so we'll be using the relative okay relative uh, path 
so dot dot slash dot dot slash so that is the relative part of the public slash public slash assets slash the name of the picture or the file name of the picture okay so ionic logo so slash and then the assets folder slash the ionic logo or the file name of the ionic logo which is ionic logo dot png and then let's check the output okay so still the logo appears to our application so i'll just refresh it okay so that's it so ionic picture what if you're going to display it as dynamic so for example came from a function or came from a database so we'll be displaying this through the Vue.js okay so what you need to do is okay you need to copy this value then okay so we'll bind this property to our variable so for example the name of our variable is ionic logo and then you need to define why okay, you need to import the ionic the ion img okay that's the requirement for you to manipulate the component you need to import that and you need to specify it here ion img and then for example so I'll just wait uh, it will load later and then the name of our variable or bind variable is ionic logo so we'll be defining a uh, variable here under data to initialize the default value so okay and then return and then ionic logo okay logo colon then the path okay so we have the okay, just wait for a, a moment let's say more or less okay let's let's wait to the idea to respond on the changes that we've made okay so it's expected that shouldn't have any problem with it okay no value exists in scope for the okay so it's already responded on our changes that we made so let's try that okay still the picture is displaying on our application okay so how about if we add a button here that when the user clicks the button or click the button it changes the picture here or the logo of the ionic will be changed so all we need to do is to add a button below the ionic ion image then ion button slash ion button and then we'll be adding a click event for view so click and then let's say uh, update logo or let's say on the let's say change logo okay so instead of the ionic logo we'll be changing changing it into view logo okay let's check the okay so next is to win to import also the ion button okay so we need to define on our view ion button 
and then in here on our view source code we'll be adding another property which is the methods and then we'll be defining a method the method name is change logo and then so the default value of ionic logo is or the ionic logo is ionic logo.png now let's change that into view.js or the view logo this that ionic logo is equal to then we'll get the url so we'll not store it as in the asset folder we'll be looking for an online picture of the view view js logo get the url okay so for example we have here at the wikimedia commons and then we'll be opening this to new image to get the url and then copy and we'll be placing it here so once i click the button okay it will automatically change the value of the source in our ion img so by default it will show you the or it will display you the ionic logo but when you click the button okay so there is no uh label of our ion button so let's say change logo okay so uh, yeah okay so we have a button here so once i press this logo the expected output is it will change the value of the ionic or it will change the image to view logo so let's try that by clicking this button change logo okay so it successfully changes so that's all thank you for watching see you on our next videos.